We, we must stand up. We must stop preaching. Show a little bit of gut. It is time for us as Christians to stand up, to move out, to do something. Stand for good. Hi. My name is Dr. Terry Jones. This is the Braveheart Show. And Islam is of the devil. question is, who can we trust? In any, in any, any relationship, marriage relationship, even in a job, or even in our, in our own country, who, who can we trust in our country? Who can we actually really rely on? Who, who is telling us the way it is, telling us the truth? Who can we trust? We can't trust politicians because they need our vote. That they need to tell us what we like, what we want to hear, what we want to what will make us happy. We can't trust lawyers. They're not really interested in justice. They're not interested in guilty and innocent. We can't trust the newspapers. We can't trust the media. Because they're, they're interested in their quota. They're interested in how many people are watching, how many people are buying. We can't trust our educational system. It has basically turned against God. It is, it is no longer something that points us to God, to, to the Bible, to morality. Actually, just the opposite is true. It points us away from God. It, it, de it deems everything as being okay, normal, whether it be homosexuality, whether it be other forms of perversion, these, these, these things are labeled as okay and normal. Yeah, then the question is, in our society, in our society, in our life, as, as in our nature, our life is built, our society is built on a, on a little bit of trust. Who can we trust? Can we trust the army? We should be able to trust the army. That is what we always thought. Well, we always thought we can, we can trust the army. They are there to protect us. They are on our side. They are there, according to their oath, for the best interests of the country. Can we trust them? I, I thought we could. Uh, until they did something actually very an anti-American. Anti-God. Well, we must not forget. The Bible warns us. The, the Bible talks about people and nations who have forgotten what God has done for them and what happens to them. The, the judgment, the judgment that comes upon them. Our army has forgotten that we are a Christian nation. That we are a nation built upon Christian principles and we need not to be ashamed of that. We have a day called the National Day of Prayer. It is held at the Pentagon. The army had invited Franklin Graham, a, a very respected man of God, known all over the country, all over the world, invited him to come speak, and they have now disinvited him. Why? Because they found some type of great moral discrepancy, sin in his life. Because he has been convicted of some type of crime. For some actual reason of substance. No. Because he has become one of those who tells the truth. And there is something that our nation can no longer tolerate. There is something that we can no longer take and receive. We, we have listened to lies for so long. We, we, have, we have believed lies so long that lies have become the normality. Why did they cancel him? Well, well, why did they say, you cannot come, we do not want you to come? Because he told the truth. Because he made statements about Islam. Islam, an evil, perverted 
religion. After 9-11, he made this statement, Islam is evil. A true statement. A very, very simple statement, a very direct statement, a statement that our nation must hear, we must be aware, we must watch out, Islam is evil. What is the proof for that statement? The proof is, look at Islamic-controlled nations. Do not look at America. Do not look at the Muslims here who are forced to live in a peaceful manner because they are being held accountable by our laws. So don't look here. Don't look here and look down the road and down the street and say, oh, there's a peaceful Muslim. So because of that, Islam must be a peaceful religion. No. Look at where it dominates. Look at where it has the control and say. Then you will see it, its true colors. And that you find in every Muslim-controlled country, you find nothing but oppression. You find nothing but violence. Franklin Graham, praise God for Franklin Graham. He had enough guts to stand up and say Islam is an evil religion. He had enough guts to say that true Islam, which is right, true Islam, what we see practicing, practiced in the neighborhoods of America is not true Islam, because true Islam is an Islam under Islamic law, the law of oppression, of punishment. He made this statement, true Islam cannot be practiced in this country. It is true, because it does not respect our Constitution. It does not want our Constitution. In fact, its goal is to replace, destroy our Constitution. So Franklin Graham spoke the truth. So then who can we trust? If we can't trust the education system, the political system, the, the law system, if we can't even, if we're not even allowed anymore with, without punishment, if we're not allowed to speak the truth, who can we trust? The only institution that we can trust because that institution is not accountable to people but to God is the church. That is why, please, that is why the church must stand up. Everybody else is accountable to people. So they are concerned about what the people think, what the people buy, how the people vote. The church is accountable to God. We, we must stand up. We must rise out of the pit. What is the pit that we are in? It is the pit of fear. The church is afraid. Pastors are afraid. We are afraid of being, being rejected. Boy, we have become like the children of Israel. God, God said, no, you cannot have a king. Here, I've given you a prophet. Here, here I, I will lead your way. I, I, I will protect you. I will watch over you. I will direct you. What did they do? They said, no. We want to be like every other nation. We, we, we want to, that's what the church has done. The church is a mighty, powerful institute. Institution that is to lead the way. That is to show the way the nation is to go. And what have we done? We have sold our birthright. And we have said, we want to be like everyone else. The church must rise up. The church cannot be accepted. The church cannot fear rejection. We must stand up. We are the only hope. We are the only beacon of truth. We are the only organization that is accountable to God and not man. We must speak the truth. We must stand up. Join with us. Doveworld.org. Doveworld.org. God bless and stand up. Doveworld.org.